Hi, I'm Jeff. In this video, we're going to look at the Revolve tool, which is part of FreeCAD's part design workbench. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy me a coffee at the link below in the description. Let's look at the Revolve tool. I'm using FreeCAD version 0.19, released on the 12th of July 2020 for this demonstration. So the Revolve tool takes a sketch or a 2D object and revolves it around an axis. In this first example, we're just going to do a simple sketch and revolve it around the center point. So in this case, I'm going to use the XZ plane for the demonstration. So we'll create a sketch. And I'm just going to create a, an oval and pretty much take the default length. We might make it a bit bigger so we can can see it a little bit more easily. Let's change the radius. Do 10 mil. Fix it in space. About 25 mils vertically and horizontally from the origin. Zoom out a bit. And I think we'll switch it into isometric view so we can see what happens. So we select the sketch and then click on the revolve tool. And by default, it has chosen the vertical sketch axis to revolve around based on the orientation of my sketch. And it has defaulted to 360 degrees. To make it a little bit clearer, I'm going to switch to a top view As with other tools in the part design workbench, the revolve tool revolves the sketch forwards by default. We can see this when we change the angle of revolution. So if we made that 90 degrees, you will see that it revolves forward of the sketch 90 degrees. And you can see that in normal in isometric view as well. If we click on the reversed checkbox it revolves it behind the sketch and if we click on the symmetric to plane checkbox it revolves it both forward and back of the sketch now we'll switch back to the isometric view and what we can also do, depending upon the type of sketch, is we can rotate around the horizontal sketch axis. And I'll switch to a right view to see that. And just like before, when symmetric to plane is enabled, it rotates it forward and back of the sketch. If we disable symmetric to plane and reverse, it revolves it forward of the sketch and reversed revolves it backwards of the sketch. The base X axis, which is essentially the horizontal sketch axis, nothing changes in this case. We switch to Y axis and Z axis. Z axis is effectively the same as the vertical sketch axis. X axis in this case is the same as horizontal sketch axis. And we cannot revolve it around the Y axis using this sketch. You can also choose to revolve the sketch around a construction line in the sketch itself. So we'll open the sketch again and we will add a simple construction line. First instance we'll just make it vertical. I'm going to fix it in place. Make it 150 that way. And vertically, we'll make it 50. Oops. And we will convert it to be a construction line. And now when we open the revolve tool, we have another option, which is construction line one. 
And you can see that the sketch is now revolved around a different axis and the revolution itself is much larger. And you can also do that with an angled sketch. Oops, what do we got? Take off the vertical constraint. That angle will do. And now when we revolve the sketch around the construction line, you'll see that the orientation of the sketch has changed as well. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you did, click the like button below and consider subscribing to the channel. You can help support the channel by buying me a coffee in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.